It all started with a vision. MFG wants to be thought of as uh, being world class in the manufacture of sheet molding compound, bulk molding compound, and other molding materials. A couple of years ago, talking to one of our large customers, it became evident that they did not consider us a major SMC molder. While we were considered a very good uh, supplier, they did not think of us in terms of uh, SMC molding. We realized that we weren't quite as good as we needed to be in order to appeal to outside customers rather, just in, rather than just our internal ones. Project Hawk is a, an initiative that evolved from that uh, conversation with the customer. In September 2005, Alec Raffa, the plant manager, myself, and Pete M. Rich, Vice President of Research, were called into Richard Morrison's office, who is our CEO here at MFG, and Ron Orr, the General Manager at Linesville, was on the phone. And Ron was concerned with some quality issues he was having with uh, contaminated resin, uh, issues with their metering system, and Richard started asking questions, well, what is the best practice? And none of us could really answer those questions, so he had the idea of why don't we go out and benchmark what the best practices are in making SMC. We decided that we better go find out um, where we were lacking. We put together a cross-functional team with members, teammates from four different operations, gave them a budget and mandate to go out and visit other SMC uh, manufacturers uh, with the idea that we were trying to improve the state of the art for the industry and we decided there was a good opportunity for us to substantially improve the quality and the cost effectiveness of our SMC and LMC uh, operations. So we put it together and decided that this, this was important to us. It's a core competency, it's something that our customers want and can benefit from. You know, we launched this, uh, this Project Hawk initiative and uh, out we went uh, to accomplish, uh, as a group, corporately, what defines best practice. Project Hawk is an effort by Molded Fiberglass to uh, define the current state of the art, the bar, if you will, for the manufacture of sheet molded composites and bring Molded Fiberglass to that level. Part of the problem is that uh, each SMC molder had their own definition of what constituted good SMC. And there was more art than science in, in that knowledge. Our effort was to um, quantify, characterize the art and turn it into a technology. Project Hawk is innovative, improvement, consistency, opportunity, execution, cooperation, persistence, Excellency. Challenging. Independence. <laughs> People. People. MFG has 15 different entities, and we chose four entities who were involved in making paste and SMC to be part of this project. Premier Molding Compound, Linesville Tray Company, composite systems companies in North Carolina. We all made paste, two of us made SMC. How Project Hawk is structured is there are 12 team members that are responsible for the best practice plan. And then there are entities that have implementation teams that are responsible for implementing the best practice plans. Well, we started in October 2005 we were together every other week for four hours at a time. The Project Talk team experience brought together a broad range of people and the managerial hierarchy, all the way from a vice president to myself. There are many, many support groups that may be internal or external that have helped out in Project Hawk. Um, we have been involved with our suppliers. Uh, Plastic Colors has been a huge um, help in this project from helping us with uh, defining mixing, um, helping us uh, improve our mat weight by taking uh, LAB readings of a pressure tape that we send over. Uh, which is a very unique test that uh, we worked in conjunction with them on. Um, Sherwin-Williams helped out 
uh, Ashland helped out, uh, Reichel, um, many suppliers have been there to promote this. This is a promotion of the whole industry, not just bettering MFG. What is world class? Since our goal was to become world class, what we first needed to do was to find world class. What we chose for our team is to become a leader in at least one critical process and to become held as a role model for other companies. We're already the leader in the preform application process and now we want to be considered the leader in SVP. The goal of Project Talk is to produce LCM and SMC products that are world class and second to none to go out into the marketplace and gain market share. In order to accomplish that goal, we created three objectives. The first objective was to go out and benchmark the industry, bring back the ideas. The second was to standardize the best practices, and the third was to create a mechanism that allowed all the entities to incorporate the best practices and continue to become better and better at the production of SMC and What a best practice is, is what people are doing in the industry to make the product in the best manner possible. Uh, uh, sometimes there's not expertise information on that and you have to gather up all the data and figure out what the best practice is going to be using um, uh, research tools, um, experience, uh, other expertise in different industries not related to yours that can be applied to, to your area. So we had a considerable amount of industry unknowns related to the mixing operation. During the hot project, we brought in a number of experts in the industry on mixing to put on a seminar. We brought them in to discuss various aspects of mixing pace and blending of our materials. And what we were able to do with all of that information was to develop an excellent mixing standard uh, for SMC and the wet mix uh, paste production. In order to understand how good your process is or where you need to improve, one of the best practices is to go out and benchmark. And who better to benchmark than people that are in the industry? So we sent out um, our feelers to see who would be willing to let us come in and look at their operation. And we got many invitations to come and look at their operations. We took uh, eight different companies up on, on those invitations. When we went out to interview companies, we selected large companies in the automotive industries and electrical industries. The benchmarking trips were very interesting in that we got to see the other facilities that also make SMC compounding materials. And we got to see what they do and they shared that information with us. With any uh, monumental task, uh, seeing some short-term improvements and short-term uh, benefits uh, is always beneficial in uh, in strengthening the team and strengthening the, the objectives of the, of the project and, and the program. And so the uh, sh short-term list uh, of uh, action items that we're able to accomplish immediately validated the team and validated uh, the, the fact that benefits could be derived quickly and easily within the manufacturing operations. We picked uh, a couple of items that we felt were, would be beneficial for each entity. And the ones that we picked first were, was what we call the blue board and the gray board, um, where we were really doing a lot with raw materials and, and checking them. 
and making sure there's no trends or is there any issues with raw materials. So we put a database together in Minitab and started tracking every property on a raw material and started finding that there were trends that we weren't aware of, um, issues that we weren't aware of, problems that we could, could um, solve quickly just by talking with the supplier. And, and then our blue board data was our capability. How good were our operations? Well, we found out that we didn't really have a lot of data to put on those blue boards because we weren't testing a lot of our mixes. When we went out there and found out all these other companies, some did these tests, some did these tests, but not everybody had all the tests. We said, hey, we're gonna put a lab together and we're gonna test every critical variable on our SMC and our liquid wet mix and, and start finding out how we can make our process less variable. We set up the quality assurance lab in our SMC manufacturing area beginning of 2008 to assure that our intermediate products and our final products are at the quality levels that our next customer expects to receive, that being internal customer or external customer. several years since the Hawk implementation was completed, and where are we today? Hawk has provided us with the tools, the processes, and the metrics for controlling our compounded process day in and day out. And the focus is on reducing variation. The transformation that I have seen and the changes in our mix room in the four entities starts off first, I, I believe, with cleanliness, the way that we have organized our materials, and the input that we're receiving from our teammates which are helping us become even better towards world class. Uh, there are 88 best practices for making a paste. There are 189 best practices for making an SMC. The gap analysis or the Hawk audit that we refer to now is an audit that um, allows us to achieve objective three which is to create a mechanism to constantly improve our operations. What the gap analysis was, um, do you have evidence that you're doing it? Um, do you have a procedure for doing it? It used a scoring system of zero, one, and two. And from that, we were able to look at each piece of, uh, of the pie and um, come up with a score. And what we did was take a combination of the Olympic medal system and the high school grading system. The audit plan we developed is a good auditing tool that can be used at any SMC manufacturing location to measure their process. We set up a system called a Hawk Alert. And what we do is that if you have any issues with any raw materials, that you can alert other people in the different entities and let them know that you have a possible or potential issue. Uh, usually you check your C of A's to find that out. Um, then once you contact them, you contact the vendor and uh, proceed with quality assurances. Not only did we raise the uh, quality for the SMC here at CSCs, but we certainly raised the quality of our customer's uh, product, which enabled them to sell to a much larger market. Material variation is a large factor in effectively molding composite parts. The Hawk Project seeks to reduce that variation. It does so by defining the facilities, environment, and procedures to manufacture compounds. It gives us common and uniform testing methods and defines a language for the process. These are the tools we use to communicate amongst ourselves and with our supplier partners as we move to reduce variation. It is a journey, not a goal, and we will always be at it. Find out more about how ICOM could potentially help improve yields and quality on your next project. Just visit our website, moldedfiberglass.com. MFG Value, offering our customers innovative choices and unmatched experience in the ever-changing world of composites.